Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Block Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'm going to explain what is Stocks and basically how to use the news feature that's built into iOS. And of course, you might miss what Stocks are. So let me just break down what... So let me simply break down what a Smart Stock is. So a Stock or a Smart Stock is a new feature. It's very similar to the widgets. As you know, this is a widget. You can add them. I have a separate tutorial. You can find that in the description or on screen. But of course, if you have stocks, let me explain what it is. It's basically a group of two or more um, widgets. And of course, once you have stocks, it basically adds to the diversity of your device. Meaning, for example, as you can see here, you can see my clock, which is my world clock. And of course, you might think this is just a widget, but it's actually a um, stock. And this stock has several options. Let me show you what they are. So if I swipe down, you'll notice it goes through the options. So I can swipe. You can see work clock. I can swipe. You can see weather. I can swipe again. You can see, I think, what is um, serious suggestions. And if I keep swiping, you'll get um, the calendar and so on. So as you can see, it's basically a stock of um, widgets. So of course, how to add this is much different from your batteries, which is just a standalone widget. If I swipe notice nothing happens so let me just cancel so if i try swiping this nothing will happen so that's the difference between a regular widget and a stock so stock is more flexible a widget is just a standalone feature all right so let me show you how right now how to create and how to add your own smart stock to add a smart stock go ahead guys and you're going to do one of two things either find a blank space and long press you'll get the jiggle and hit the plus r you can also long press on any app and of course you'll get that again or you can long press and then of course you are going to hit edit home screen once you hit edit home screen you'll be taken here so you can use one of those three options and of course once you do that just go ahead and press the plus and you'll be right here you're going to scroll down once you're here guys at the top of the list you should see your smart stock so go ahead and tap smart stock now here you go and as you can see here guys there are several options there's the clock there is the dow jones there is of course this um dow jones widget right here and as you can see with stocks all you gotta do is with stocks all you gotta do is simply go ahead guys and hit add there you go notice i've had the clock stocks and of course in this case i'm gonna move it over all right once you do you'll have it on screen so what i'm going to do right now once i'm satisfied with it done and as you can see here this is a stock so if i click down you'll get series suggestions you get the screen time you get um your notes you get what tips you get unable to receive your updates on um, apple tv well sorry you get apple tv and of course you do get the idea so here this particular stock has several options i'm going to remove this one let me go ahead again, show you another. All right, so this is another smart stock. I'm gonna add this one. And you can do the same thing. They basically all have the same features from Siri to podcast to um, screen time. There might be slight differences. There's my clipboard, see new things from iOS, Apple TV, and you do get the idea. We can go straight through and see all of the options. I'm going to remove this one. And there's still another one for me to preview just to show you guys. I'm going to go down again. We're going to Smart Stock. Once we do this, we're going to go over. And we're going to hit Add. And this is the Humongous version. So they are always in three sizes. When it's done, check this out guys. It's the same thing again. But you do get the big or the major focus with the main stocks all right so you do get the idea all right so of course if you do not like it you can always remove again so that's basically um stocks so from now on guys um you'll have not only the option of um battery sorry like battery widget so which is a key widget uh, of course um the widgets do offer their own unique features like battery but of course the um 
stocks offers more flexibility so i find that when i pair both i get the best of both worlds so for example i have this main batteries widget and i have my um stocks and it works wonderfully all right guys so as usual this is ricardo gardner from blog tech tips basically showing you this cool new feature called um, stocks that you might be overlooking in the latest update as it's so simple you might be thinking it's a widget all right ricardo gardner saying bye until next time bye guys